there have been a couple of questions asked in regards to my previous videos so i decided to do a video to answer some of these questions and in case you have more questions feel free to dm me on my socials and also comment in this video down below and i'll probably get back to you so let's go to this q a session and see what i've been asked and how i'm going to answer them so i've been asked this question that what are the recommendations of lipstick that will bring out a bold lip because i made a video on how to look pretty like daily so i and i talked about having a bold lip uh first of all what the lipstick I'm, the lipsticks i'm going to recommend some i've used some i haven't but i know they are good so i'll start with the one that i use always and i haven't changed it in a very long time and it's called dance with me this is the box it's by mark and it's called dance with me this is how it looks and it's the one i am wearing actually most of the videos i've done if not all the videos i've done i've been wearing this lipstick and i love it so much people like it actually and they always ask which lipstick i wear and i always recommend this lipstick of course mark has more other lipsticks uh, a friend of mine told me to try out high drama i haven't tried it it's kind of burgundy but it's also good i haven't tried it though so i would recommend this lipstick dance with me then also fenty you know rihanna's products fenty the names the bold lipsticks let me let me show you something fenty has um they have candy they have candy venom and madame 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 it's also good they are bold lipsticks and then which other one um then the mvp also it's also fenty so they are you know several lipsticks you can try that are good and you they will get you a bold lip though me i would recommend this because i've used it and it stays on almost the entire day i never change it i never take it off i have it from morning till the time i take it off and it's not sticky it's really good and it's smart so i love it that's why i always recommend it and that's why i wear it i hope this answers your question so the other person asked that what would be your advice to us who don't necessarily have an attractive smile due to dental issues um first of all if you have dental issues i am so sorry these things happen but this shouldn't stop you from smiling um i'll give you two three scenarios firstly i have a friend she's a girl and she has this problem she has a problem with her teeth and it has never stopped her from smiling i mean we take pics we take selfies and she's always smiling in fact she tells me to always smile she smiles a lot and this has never affected her smile secondly um some of us if we smile like i said we brighten up people's days you enter into a room and it's all gloomy but you smile and then everyone is like they feel it so of course me personally i've had so many people come up to me and tell me brenda i love your smile brenda your smile is good i receive phone calls someone calls me and they're like i've had a bad day just say something to make me smile you're always good you always make people smile just say something i mean smiling is good and of course if it's uh if it's dental or not of course there are these problems there are issues like if you have acid reflux and then you have a bad breath at least go to a doctor but that shouldn't stop you from smiling go to a doctor and then treat that problem that you have and keep smiling smiling is so good actually this job that i have one of the reasons i got it was because i smiled the person that saw me uh, of course I, I used to smile with customers um, i was a customer support before each of each and every customer that came in they liked me because i smiled a lot so she comes and sees me she's like mm, i like you so the next time she tells me like 
uh, fast forward i get a job and she's like one of the reasons i got you is because you used to smile a lot like smiling with customers customers also love you they see you smiling and they feel good so just smile a smile is just not just smile and you will brighten up people's days i promise you so i hope this answers you Then the next question they asked was, what would you call simple makeup? Now, this is according to me. Uh, simple makeup is makeup that is not overly done. I'll give you an example of uh, me. You see my skin tone. I go and put on makeup. The face is so white. And then it's different from this other skin. Like this other skin is different from this. The face is too white and then they contradict this and this contradict so that is one of the uh the examples i can give then the other is uh if you have uh lashes and then you put too much mascara or you put mascara and then it ends up getting down like down down on your eyes that's also too much makeup and if you also look at yourself in the mirror and you can't recognize yourself like you know yourself but you look at yourself and you're like this is too much just know it's too much makeup and then also if people don't hug you a lot like people are huggers people love hugging so if people are always afraid of hugging you because your makeup stains their clothes and it also stains your clothes that's too much that's heavy makeup so simple makeup you just have to look good uh, even if you have your eyelashes that are well done, like let them be well done, not too much mascara, not staining people's clothes. Just have enough makeup on your face and you will look good. Then the other question is, why did you name your channel Brains Babe? Of course, I am Brenda. And then the channel is called Brains Babe simply because <laughs> um, Brains, I had a boss, he was, he is Filipino and he used to call me Brains. And I, let, I liked the way he used to call me Brains instead of Brenda. So he'd be like, Brains, Brains. So I liked the name. And then I have, I have a cousin, she uses a name on her IG, but it has a babe. So I decided to get brains and then add babe has is babe but i did babe so it's brains babe i just got a name from my cousin and then my boss used to call me brains so i just got these two and just called the youtube page brains babe it's not only youtube though instagram twitter facebook everything is brains babe because i liked it so much and i've been having it for years i've been calling my socials brains babe so I hope this also answers your question. Feel free to ask me more questions. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.